So we just arrived at the bass tank uh, in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Started the morning off by driving to Hot Springs, picking my new boat up for this year, and uh, leaving the factory. It was what I call uh, naked. No, nothing on it. Plain Jane. Bass tank's gonna do all the rigging, so let's go in here and check it out. So what we have here is actually a 23 year model. Um, it's the X21 LE. And when I say when it left the factory naked, nothing on it. No trolling motor, no sea deck, no graphs or anything. Really just a hull and the new uh, Yamaha back there, power poles, that's it. But well, well, the first thing that we do is put everything on the boat and kind of organize, make a checklist that we do have everything. You know, do we have all the graphs? Do we have the mounts? And there's literally all kinds of stuff. This is probably, you know, 50% of it. Uh, but we just go through, make sure we have everything because we're starting today. If we don't have something, we can have it overnighted, you know, and get it by the time we're finishing. But I mean, you see the easy stuff there. Control tamer, uh, 56 mount, you know, mounts from precision, all of the hardware for the graphs. Um, and I'm not, you know, I, I'm just the tool hander guy on the installation. You know, the brains, he's over here, I think eating lunch because we, you know, it took us all morning to do this. Um, we got the trolling over there, but all of this, you know it's a process and it's you know it's pulling wire it's it's doing everything and the you know he does it kind of to my what i want for the season which um, i have a lot of confidence in the people here that do it and it makes the job easier you know whenever i'm here i don't want to say helping but kind of you know trying to help i kind of know how everything's laid out how he labels it how the wires run so during the season if i have an issue it's easy for me to find but we're going to kind of walk you through the process you know there's this is kind of the organizing process and then you have you know we're going to start turning some screws and then installation of cdec wrapping uh, all of that it's it's a pretty extensive process but it kind of starts getting you excited because you know the season is a few weeks away we're a couple hours into it uh you know and it's a process you can't just start throwing stuff together like you know, he's already installed the, bow the battery so he can get power for the trim and things like that. One of the first things that he did was run the J1939 uh, Garmin cable to the Yamaha. If you guys remember, I would not have won last year without that cable, so that's, that's a priority. Um, you know, and it's just, you know, moving forward, like he's sitting there right now mounting the precision uh, mount there. He's got to run wire. Um, it's just a lot of different things and it's almost overwhelming. I'm sitting here handing him tools and it's overwhelming to me because I don't know where to start. But, you know, he's got a process and he's got a plan on how everything comes together. You know, moving to the front, you got the other mount up there. There's the trolling motor. We put all the units on the rack there so you kind of not know what you're working with. There's all kinds of things. You have the charge you got to go in. everything that you can imagine and and we're probably going to get more there's the easy step right there we had to move that but more things are coming but honestly even though it's overwhelming it's, it'll start to come together in a little bit once he gets the mounts up there you know and gets the electronics there he can start pulling wires you know putting things together and it'll start to somewhat resemble a fishing boat we print all of our boats in one piece so we don't have any seams so there's no risk of the water ripping it back or anything like that before we started we actually put what we call knifeless tape on the bottom so that way we don't actually have to physically cut on jason's boat the uh we're just lining it out right now we'll uh, make sure it's all going to fit and then once we get to that point we'll shrink or or stretch or whatever we have to do to get it in the in the proper place
you know, he has a chance to, to move it around and stuff before we, you know, do anything. And uh, how it really attaches to the boat is with heat and pressure. And so what happens is these things actually, there's actually little bubbles in here, little adhesive pop, little bubbles. And when you put heat to them, it actually pops them, so to speak. So we have a chance to reposition this a couple times, you know, whatever we need to do, even if I water this up. I can get all that out if I put some heat and pull back to normal. Pretty much wrapping up uh, the roof here at the bass tank. A couple of things we have left to do, you know, put some ratchet hooks on there. But you can look in there like all my batteries, power pole pumps, charge and stuff like that, how clean it is and organizing. The biggest thing for me is during a tournament to know where everything's at and how it's wired to be able to get to it in case there is a problem. Hopefully we don't have any problems, but yeah, the only step that we have left is uh, C deck. You now everything's there. Darren up there is finishing the last mount uh, for the independent live scope unit. We're gonna, he's gonna knock all that out in the next five minutes. We're gonna hook onto it. We're gonna take it to the lake, make sure everything works before I uh, head out to get C deck installed. So we're in the final stage, and this is my favorite stage because it's kind of like putting the bow on the present. We started with pickup at the factory. We went to Express with electronics, trolling motor installation. Now is the sea deck, and as you can see, you know Ryan right here. He's this is, and it goes on really easy. All he's doing is putting primer on. There's already adhesive on the back of the uh, sea deck, and it just it fits in like a puzzle. And this is the last. Piece. We gotta cut some holes out for the latches. But we're in Florida at Sea Deck. You can see outside it's sunny. We get this in, I'm gonna go fishing. But you know, this has been one of my favorite things. Uh, this is 11 mil in the front. It's like super cushiony. And uh, it just makes the boat look super clean. Cool thing is when it does get dirty, pull over, spray it out, and we're good. So this wraps up the rigging. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks for riding along.